Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. This is King Kong Consciousness. I am at Woodlawn Cemetery, Detroit, Michigan. This is King Kong Consciousness. I am at Woodlawn Cemetery in Detroit, Michigan. I wanted to come and pay respects. I wanted to come and pay my respects to the mother of the civil rights movement. I wanted to come and pay my respects to the mother of the civil rights movement, Queen Mother Ancestor Rosa L. Parks. I said Queen Mother Ancestor Rosa L. Parks. I said Queen Mother Ancestor Rosa Parks, brothers and sisters. This bold, brave black woman who was born in Tuskegee, Alabama. I said this bold, brave black woman who was born in Tuskegee, Alabama. I said this bold, brave black woman who was born in Tuskegee, Alabama, 1913, the year Queen Mother Harriet Tubman went to the ancestors. I said Queen Mother Harriet Tubman went to the ancestors in 1913 and Queen Mother Rosa Parks came from the ancestors in 1913. I said Queen Mother Harriet Tubman went to the ancestors in 1913 and Queen Mother Rosa Parks came from the ancestors in 1913, brothers and sisters. So I am getting ready for my lecture this afternoon. I wanted to come and pay respects to this woman who exercised something that we have forgot about. When I think of Rosa Parks, I think of three words. When I think of Queen Mother Rosa Parks, I think of three words. I think of sacrifice. That woman sacrificed. She gave up the convenience of a quiet life to stand up for black people. So when you think of Queen Mother Rosa Parks, I think of sacrifice. In addition to that, when I think of Queen Mother Rosa Parks, I think of resistance, brothers and sisters resistance we have stopped resisting oppression and when i think of queen mother rosa park i think of defiance she defied the racist public transportation system of montgomery alabama she resisted the police do you know rosa parks was sitting in a black section of the bus did you know Rosa Parks, Queen Mother Ancestor Rosa Parks, who we love and we're here to salute you, Queen Mother Rosa Parks was not sitting in a white section, brothers and sisters. Queen Mother Rosa Parks was not sitting in a white section, brothers and sisters. Queen Mother Rosa Parks was sitting on the first row of the black section. I said Queen Mother Rosa Parks was sitting in the first row of the black section. I said Queen Mother Rosa Parks was sitting in the first row of the black section. And when the white man got on the bus, the white bus driver ordered that black woman. The white bus driver in support of a white passenger ordered Queen Mother Rosa Parks to get up out of her black seat. She was not in the white seat. She was sitting on the first row of the black section. She was sitting on the first row of the black section and the bus driver ordered our Queen Mother ancestor to get up out the seat, the first row of the black section so the white man could sit down. So the white man can sit down, make a black woman leave her seat so a white man can sit down. Brothers and sisters, it ain't over yet. Brothers and sisters, it ain't over yet. Brothers and sisters, it ain't over yet. We still fighting, brothers and sisters. It ain't over yet. The struggle ain't done. We got to keep on pushing. The struggle ain't done. We got to keep on resisting. The struggle ain't done, brothers and sisters. We ain't free. Who told you we was free when you still got black people being by police? Who told you we was free when you got black children being taken from their mothers? Who told you we was free when we got black people who can't even get a job? Who told you we was free when we can't even access the wealth we need to build the businesses that we are capable of opening and operating? We ain't free. You free because the white man says so on paper? You free because somebody mentioned your name in, in a speech? 
Brothers and sisters, stop looking at what they say and start studying what they do. Stop looking at what they say and start studying what they do, brothers and sisters. 400 years is too long. 400 years is too long for us to be sitting here like we don't know what we're supposed to be doing. For us to be sitting here wasting our time on social media all day. Wasting our time on television all day. Wasting our time on video games all day. Wasting our time gossiping and slandering and tearing down other African people. It's nation time, brothers and sisters. It's freedom time, brothers and sisters. It's liberation time as I stand here with Queen Mother Rosa Parks' spirit as I stand here with the Agoon Goon. I salute all the African ancestors who are inside of this Rosa Parks mausoleum. I salute all the African ancestors who are inside of this Rosa Parks mausoleum, brothers and sisters. We owe them. We owe every black man, every black woman that ever walked this earth, the ancestors from Africa, the ancestors from the Caribbean, the ancestors from Central and South America, Australia, Europe, Asia, the mother continent, brothers and sisters. We have an obligation to pick up the torch and march. We have an obligation to fight. Simply reading books ain't going to do it. Debates ain't going to do it. Lectures ain't going to do it. Events ain't going to do it. The most honorable Marcus Garvey, I shade Queen Mother Rosa Parks. The most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey told us. The most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey told us. The most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey told us that the greatest weapon used against the Negro is disorganization. He told us that the greatest weapon used against the Negro is disorganization, brothers and sisters. I'm at the Rosa Parks Temple, paying respect to Queen Mother Rosa Parks. Detroit, Michigan, I'm in the building. We got a lot to talk about on this beautiful sunny day. We got a lot to talk about on this beautiful sunny day. This is the Rosa Parks Freedom Chapel. If you live in Detroit and you ain't been here to pay respects. If you live in Detroit and you ain't been here to pay respects. If you live in the state of Michigan and you ain't been here to pay respects. If you live in the Midwest and you ain't been here to pay respects. If you live in the United States of America and you ain't been here to pay respects, brothers and sisters, make sure you stop by the Rosa L. Parks Freedom Chapel, brothers and sisters, and honor the ancestor. Honor the ancestor. That's what it's about. I stand on the shoulders of giants. I have an obligation. I have an obligation to fight to finish the fight that the ancestors started for me, brothers and sisters. This ain't no game. This ain't no game. We got to do the work because you scared to be black. Some of you Negroes think if you just call yourself a Cherokee Indian, they'll leave you alone. Some of you Negroes think if you call yourself a Seminole Indian, they'll leave you alone. Some of you Negroes think if you call yourself a Choctaw Indian, they are gonna leave you alone. What well, I got news for you, brothers and sisters. I got news for you, brothers and sisters. They ain't never gonna leave your ass alone. You think if you call yourself a born again, sovereign, indigenous Negro, they're gonna leave you alone. They're not gonna leave your ass alone. You think by changing your name, they're gonna leave your ass alone. They don't care about no superficial labels. They don't care about no superficial titles. They don't give a damn what you call yourself, what gods you pray to, what nationality you claim, what Native American pretendian tribe you trying to join. Eugenics is the extermination of African DNA, period. They don't care if you call it Hebrew. They don't care if you call it more. They don't care if you call it Nawapian. They don't care if you call it NOI. They don't care if you call it Pan-African. They don't care. Extermination of the race, brothers and sisters. King Kong consciousness is in the building. King Kong consciousness is in Motown, Detroit today. Negroes running around talking about some cease and desist. Cease and desist what? Cease and desist what? Cease and desist what? Cease and desist the liberation? Never. Cease and desist the resistance movement? Never. Cease and desist the sacrifice for our unborn children? Hell no. We not going to cease and desist. We not going to cease and desist, brothers and sisters. The struggle will continue until all Africans are free. I said the struggle will continue until all Africans are free. Keep listening to them if you want, brothers and sisters. We have to do the work for the community. We have to do the work for the people. Rosa Parks is here. Make sure you come and pay your respect.
Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. This is King Kong Consciousness, Dr. Umar Ifatunde. I'm live and direct at the gravesite of my greatest Philadelphia ancestor, the Honorable Robert Purvis, who was president of the Philadelphia Underground Railroad. He was chairman of the Philadelphia Anti-Vigilance Society, which helped escaping Africans free from slavery. I'm visiting his gravesite. He's a fellow Leo. This is the black man who commissioned the Amistad painting of the famous revolutionary leader, Sin K, Sin Q of the Amistad Rebellion. This is the brother who authorized that famous painting of Sin Q, the leader of the Amistad Rebellion. This is also the man who worked with my great ancestor, Frederick Douglass. He loaned Frederick Douglass money to purchase that big, beautiful house on Cedar Hill in Washington, D.C. So I just came to pay my respects. Robert Purvis, we got to remember the ancestors. We stand on their shoulders. I got three quick announcements. I got three quick announcements. I got three quick announcements. Number one, if you are a black parent, if you are someone who works with black children, if you are a police officer, judge, probation officer, youth worker, if you have a testimonial that you're willing to tell on tape about the war against black children, if you have a testimonial about a black boy who was put in special ed unnecessarily, if you have a testimony about a black boy who was expelled from school or treated like an animal by the white racist public school system, if you have a story about a black boy who was put on Ritalin, Adderall, Concerta, Metadate, Cyclert, and it messed them up, if you have a story about a black boy who was thrown in juvenile detention or put in adult prison, locked up in school for something that should not have landed him in adult prison, if you know of a young man who took his own life or took somebody else's life as a result of the miseducation and the emotional oppression that he suffered by way of the school to prison pipeline, I want to interview you. I want to interview you. If you are a mother with a story, if you are a father with a story, if you are a grandmother, grandfather, auntie, uncle, big brother, big sister, and cousin, if you are a lawyer with a story, a doctor with a story, a nurse with a story, a social worker with a story, if you live in Maryland, D.C., Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, or New York, if you live in Maryland, D.C., Pennsylvania, New Jersey or New York, I need you to text my cell phone so I can schedule you to be interviewed for the most anticipated black documentary of the 21st century, the psychoacademic Holocaust, the shockumentary, America's war against black boys, 215-989-9858. Text me your name and your city if you want to be interviewed, 215-989-9858. Text me your name and your city if you want to be interviewed. That's number one. Number two. I need some of you to sponsor the shockumentary. We need to raise some money to cover expenses related to the shockumentary. Please think about becoming an official sponsor. $100 is a basic sponsor. $250 is a premier sponsor. And then $500 is an elite sponsor. You're going to get your own special screening. You're going to get a certificate. For those of you who are elite, you're going to get an autographed copy of the DVD and the movie poster. I'm going to post the different perks you get from being a basic sponsor of the shockumentary to a mid-level sponsor of the shockumentary to an elite sponsor of the shockumentary. I need your help. I'm not taking money from white folks, corporate America, white banks, or white people. I need my people to support me to get this documentary done so we can tell the truth about what's happening to black boys. So that's my other announcement. You can make your sponsorship payment through Zelle using my cell number 215-989-9858. You can make your sponsorship payment by PayPal, paypal.me slash Umar the Psychologist, or you can make your sponsorship payment on the cash app, dollar sign Dr. Umar Johnson. Brothers and sisters, don't forget to register for the second annual FDMG Festival. Don't forget to register for the second annual FDMG Festival. Go to FDMGFestival.com. If you want to be a vendor, email the vending committee chair. If you want to be a performer, email the performance committee co-chairs. We're looking for singers, dancers, instrumentalists, speakers, 
comedians, African drumming for the performance committee, spoken word for the performance committee and for the vending committee, request an application. If you have not donated to the school in eight years, it's no need for you to be a vendor. If you have not donated to our school in eight years, your school, my school, our school, it's no need for you to be a vendor. So I just wanted to come and pay respects to the Honorable Robert Purvis. Please look this man up on the internet. Please look this man up on the internet. This brother sacrificed a whole lot for the liberation of our people and his beautiful wife. Let me not forget his beautiful wife, Harriet Port Fortin Purvis, whose sister went down to the South Carolina Sea Islands and educated free blacks after emancipation, whose father, Robert, excuse me, James Fortin, was one of the first black millionaires in America. He was an inventor in America, and he was a founder of the Anti-Slavery Society in America. So I say I share the Queen Mother Harriet Fortin Purvis as well. Again, if you live in Texas and you're willing to come to Dallas on Saturday, June the 25th for the Black Parent Boot Camp, I need to know this, brothers and sisters. I need to know. This is the Prince of Pan-Africanism signing out. Please sponsor the shockumentary. I need your help. Please sponsor the shockumentary. I need your help. Tomorrow morning, I may have a Black Parent Boot Camp. Tomorrow morning, I might have the final Black Parent Teleconference of this current school year. Peace and Black Power.